Welcome everyone, this is Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics. Today I would like to talk about the water pumps that we use in aquaponics. So in aquaponics we use a water pump to raise the water, most of the time is to raise the water from the fish tank to the grow bed, uh, but if you work with a sump tank it can be from the sump tank to the grow bed or from the sump tank to the fish tank, whatever your system is, uh, but if you have a, a simple uh, grow bed aquaponics uh, as I have uh, at the back of, uh, of this video, uh, I got only the fish tank on the bottom and the grow bed on the top, so basically I use a pump to raise the water to the grow bed. And here I got only uh, 80 centimeters to raise the water from, uh, from the fish tank to the grow bed, even less than 80 actually. Uh, but yeah, depending on the system, you may have to raise the water a bit higher or a bit less. Uh, it's always important when you design the system to minimize this, uh, this height, because otherwise you will increase uh, the electricity or the power consumption, because you will need a, a bigger pump to be able to raise the quantity of water needed. Uh, so the, the water pump that you need in aquaponics. Uh, when I designed my system, I use a, a water pump that is able to, uh, to move a volume of water that is twice the size of the grow bed. So for example, here if I work uh, with a 500 liters grow bed, I will have a water pump that is 1000 liters per hour. So what I want is to the whole volume of the grow bed to be able to, re to be renewed twice per hour. So obviously, uh, it, because you got media into your grow bed, uh, it, the pump is going to be able to pump much more than twice the volume of the grow bed, right? But you lose a bit of time when, when, the, uh, when the siphon is flushing, when the bell siphon is flushing. So I think that's a good rule to have a pump that is able to, uh, to raise twice the volume of the grow bed per hour. Now, uh, the thing that I see too often is uh, people who start who begin in aquaponics or even people who had aquaponics for several years they keep uh, using big big pumps uh, sometimes i see some uh, system really crazy i saw some guys with a 10,000 liters per hour pump in a very small setup a thousand liters setup so obviously it works really well uh, but the only problem is uh, the electricity consumption you know the power consumption is quite high and obviously uh, the aim of aquaponics is to work with nature and to produce in a sustainable way. So we obviously want to preserve the resource as much as possible. Uh, we want to avoid to uh, raise water for nothing. So uh, what is important to understand is that in aquaponics, we want to move the water uh, to filter the water, right? We want uh, the bacteria to be able to filter the water and to transform uh, again the ammonia in nitrogen and the nitrate in nitrates and uh, obviously you need to have this water that circulate tr uh, through the media in order to, uh, to, to do this fil filtration uh, and the real uh, sensitive point I think in an aquaponics grow bed is uh, the oxygenation right uh, the, the oxygen concentration into the water because the uh, bacteria consume a lot of oxygen and if you don't have enough uh, enough oxygen into your grow bed basically you're going to turn anaerobic and then you're going to have some fermentation and some bad bacteria into your grow bed so it wouldn't work so it's it's a key it's a key factor in aquaponics to have a, a good level of oxygen into the grow bed and to get this good quantity of oxygen you need to renew to add a lot of water because when you renew the water the, the water that is coming into the grow bed is obviously high in oxygen but also when, when the bell siphon is flushing, it's going down and, high and up again. Obviously, uh, when it's flushing down, all the bacteria, they are in contact directly with the oxygen of the atmosphere. And when the water is raising into the grow bed, you got uh, all the little bubbles uh, of air that are captured bet between, uh, they are trapped between the media. And so you know that the, the oxygen level in this case is quite high. If you renew twice the volume of, uh, at least twice the volume of uh, the grow bed per, per hour. But you don't really need to go over this, uh, this, this water flow, this quantity of water, right? If you go over, it's going to work perfectly, but you're going to consume a lot, a lot, a lot of water, of, I mean, of power, of electricity 
for nothing because it consumes a lot of, of a lot of electricity to to uh, move water, you know. So some people they design they grow their the aquaponic system and they think about the pump uh, to oxygen to oxygenate the water for the fish, but the, the real aim of the pump again is to oxygen to oxygenate the, the water for the bacteria, not for the fish. For the fish, there is an easiest way to oxygen the water and m way cheaper is to use an air pump. An air pump is, is very, very efficient and is very, very low in uh, electricity consumption, right? So uh, I would really recommend uh, to use the, the water pump only to make sure that you got a good level of oxygen into the grow bed and uh, to use uh, an, ox uh, an air pump, sorry, uh, for the fish tank. So in this case, you're going to be able to uh, minimize your power consumption and you're going to be very sustainable. And don't forget that's what we want, right? We want to grow vegetables in an eco-friendly way and sustainable way. If you, if you consume a lot of electricity to, consume, to produce your vegetables and your fish, you better go in uh, buying your, your product directly uh, in the market, you know, buying organic food. So if you want to produce your food, try to produce it in a in a sustainable way and in respect of the environment and nature so by a, by having a, a very very low consumption of uh, power of electricity uh, that's the way you, you want to do that's the way you want to produce in aquaponics uh, so that's yeah that's uh, the aim of this video it's really to uh, to focus on the fact that you when, when you design an aquaponic setup you you must uh, you must get the smallest uh, water pump possible so now a uh, lot of people are using also venturi so venturi consists of uh, having a reduction of the section uh, on the exhaust of the pipe of the of the water pump uh, and uh, obviously it works really well because uh, it sucks a lot of uh, of of air and it pushes the air into the water and the oxygenation is, is really efficient in this way. But the problem is that you still need a, a big pump to do this kind of thing. I mean, not a big pump, but you're going to use uh, uh, the capacity of the, of the pump, right? Because you're going to reduce the section at one point. And, uh, and obviously, uh, it's going to consume a lot, of, uh, a lot of electricity. So obviously, if you already got your system with a big pump, you can put a venturi in it. It's not going to cost you more. But when you design your system, you want to design the system with the smallest pump possible. So don't go for the venturi. I mean, that's, my, that's the advice I would give you. Go for the smallest pump possible and put a little air pump aside into your fish tank. And in this way, you're going to be super, super efficient and super sustainable. And you're going to decrease your, uh, your electricity consumption. And in this way, you can also go for solar, working with solar panels, because uh, the electricity is going to be extremely low. So just to give you an idea for a setup like this one uh, behind me, uh, this, this setup is just be below 1,000 liters and uh, I consume 20 watts, 21, 20 watts of electricity. And I got a little air pump that is 10 watts around, so I got 30 watts for the whole setup, right? And uh, I mean, if you go for bigger setup, uh, you, can, you, can, you can minimize the quantity of uh, electricity you put into the air pump because uh, you can buy a bigger air pump and you can use it for different setups. And then uh, this is the, the, the power consumption of the, of the air is definitely very, very, very low. So uh, don't get me wrong, it's very, very important to have a good concentration of oxygen into your, into your tank, right? Because uh, if you don't have enough oxygen into your, ta into your fish tank, you're going to stress your fish. And th they may be sick, or if they are not sick, they are not going to feed as much as they, sh as they could. And they, go they are not going to grow as fast as they could. So therefore, you are not going to produce as much as you could. So it's very important to have a very uh, good quantity of oxygen into your fish tank, but um, you, you must uh, use an air pump and not a water pump, right? So the siphon, uh, obviously when the, when the water is flushing from the grow bed into the fish tank, it produces a lot of oxygen and that's really good. But don't, don't, uh, don't take a big, pump, a big water pump just for this effect, right? Take the smallest water pump possible just to cover the, the needs of your, of your bacteria but use an air pump for the fish tank and it's going to be perfect and you're going to produce your food uh, in a very sustainable way and that's what we want and that's the message I want to give you I want to spread this me message we want to produce the food in a sustainable way and we want to preserve the planet so please go for the smallest pump po possible that's a very small video but I've, that's extremely important so if, you if you're going to uh, design your own setup uh, think about it 
and go for the smallest pump possible. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you, go, you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like it. I mean, if you like the video, obviously like it. If you don't like it, give me a <laughs> show me that you didn't like it. Uh, you can share the video. Thank you. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel. And uh, obviously, if you want to create your own aquaponic setup, uh, I, uh, I designed uh, a six uh, step process to uh, design your own setup. So where I give you a few tips and one of them is obviously to take a pump, a water pump that is only uh, going to be able to raise uh, twice the volume uh, of your grow bed uh, per hour. Uh, so uh, that's one of them. Uh, but I got a lot of uh, different things that you need to check when you, when you design uh, your own setup. And it's into this uh, six step process. So I'm going to put it into the video. Uh, at the end of the video, you can just click on it and uh, you're going to be uh, able to create your own aquaponic setup and to get all my tips. So thanks again for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.